r slash isreddit, men of reddit what are some of the dumbest things you were told not to do because they were too feminine? My ex told me it was girlish shit to sit on the phone with my friend who was having a worrying episode of suicidal ideation that I thought was going to turn into intent and an immediate attempt. Caring that much about someone's feelings is feminine. Remember, fellas, no feels, only punching holes in drywall and dying in the wars. Punching walls used to be my go-to when I was angry and couldn't use my words. Until I discovered old plaster walls from the 50s. A woman I used to be friends with told me it's not masculine to love animals and apparently it's creepy to love animals. She also had a similar attitude towards men loving kids. Jokes on her, I didn't listen. Jokes on her, John Wick. Good, don't listen to her. Loving animals and kids isn't masculine or feminine, it's just something some people are. Some of the most badass people I have ever met have spent time in prison for saving animals, so she's an idiot. Glad you didn't listen. Apparently umbrellas. So it's girla to not get wet in the rain. Or get burnt in the sun. I baked a classmate a cake for her birthday and like six girls mocked me for cooking. Not even baking, but cooking in general. They said my cake was probably crap because men can't cook but also said that if it tasted good, it would prove that I'm a P asterisk SSY. They spread it to a bunch of other girls in different classes and I was kind of shamed for a year for being a man who cooks. This makes me angry. The classmate probably was thrilled that you thought of her and the girls making fun sound vicious and slash or jealous. The most outrageous example I can think of was my brother-in-law having a conniption when he found out that his two older boys, maybe like 4 to 6 at the time, were interested in learning how to make food and wanted to get a play kitchen for Christmas because he thought it would make them gay. Carrying large knives in entirely appropriate contexts like being outdoors is compensating for something. You're damn right it is, it's compensating for everyone else who didn't have the sense to bring a knife in a situation where they might need one. The difference is fixed BS folding. For camping, I have a 5 in fixed blade that loops on the belt. For everyday utility, it's a 2 in folding knife. The guy walking around with a cabar on his hip in the grocery store is compensating for something. I was told that wearing jewelry other than a wedding band or a watch is for FTS. Right. Because being suited up, with a pocket watch, tie pin, lapel pin, and more rings than just my wedding band isn't manly. Mind you my wife put him in his place real quick when she showed him how to jump his car because he left his headlights on. So there's that. Well you're obviously a gay man married to a lesbian slash s. Give BJS. Toxic. Enjoying a pina colada while sitting by a pool at a tropical resort. Seems like that is the best time to have a pina colada. I personally love fufu gorilla drinks because they not only taste good, but they usually pack a surprising punch in terms of alcohol. I never understood the mindset of your drink has to taste bad to be manly. Wipe my ass. Gay. Last time I checked it's women who love nothing more than a man who can cook lol. And even if they did end up like that, they're six. I don't think a pancake is gonna make them think hum I think Tommy is smoking hot. Fellas, is it gay to be clean? That's disgusting. Excuse me? Do men just alk around with dirty at cheeks? Wait, so my bidet is less gay than wiping? If anything, that seems a little backwards. Sounds like something that an incel would say. That, or taking a shower. Not a man but one time I was curious about the yogurt drizzle they put on granola bars sometimes so I googled it. Found a message board post from a guy asking how to make it but he made sure to clarify no homo. Sewing, knitting. Weaving is a man's game. My daughters asked their great uncle to try the bread I taught them to make. I ain't eating no pansy ass loaf. Get your ass out of the girly kitchen and into a garage, asshole. Several years ago I had to rent a tux and fly across the country for a wedding. I carried the tux on the plane with me, and a guy around my age asked what the occasion was. I said my best friend is getting married, to which he responded real men don't have best friends. Still scratching my head on that one. Should be called crap uncle not great uncle tbh. Crot. Men can express their feelings too, and women don't think any less of them for doing so. Have feelings. My dad told me to not look at myself too much in the mirror. Obviously he was worried that since you were so handsome it'd make you like men. That goes both ways. Sit cross-legged. I still cross my legs in the way that is most comfortable for me. And I think back to that baseball coach and tell him to go fuck himself with all the words I didn't know when I was eight. Crossed at the knees. Uh. Well then. That guy sounds a little lonely. 
marry a woman who earns more than I do. Seems like that would be great though. More income allows you to have a better lifestyle. Pedicure. Finally did one just a month or so ago with my wife and daughters. Why haven't I taken care of my feet? That was stupid. Pedicures, and spa days in general, are incredible. Don't skip the manicure either. Sit down when peeing. Fuck that, it's comfortable. And bonus, you don't have to turn the lights on when you go in the middle of the night. Who needs that shock to their eyes? Also cleaner. Sitting down for the win. Sitting down to pee, when possible, is the best. What is manly about standing while you pee? It seems so uncomfortable and rushed. I write really well. Apparently that's gay, real men can't have a beautiful calligraphy. Real men have no fine motor skills. Drink through a straw. Been told the same. My handwriting is girly. Fucker, I'm a 44 year old man. Learn to write. I had a date over my apartment and she was suspicious that I had a girlfriend because my apartment was too feminine. When asked what that meant, and what was setting off alarm bells, she replied. You have curtains. You have shampoo. You have scented candles. Not that they were like pink and frilly curtains, for example. Literally just having them was enough to think that I already had a woman in my life. Talking about my feelings. Or having feelings to start with. That I shouldn't like Taylor Swift. Don't listen. Surge protectors. John Wayne would never use a surge protector. Oh, and toilet paper for same reason. TBH, no one would use toilet paper for a surge protector. Drinking Cosmopolitan slash Cosmos. Before I understood the context of them I would order them all the time. Fucking delicious. Now that I know the context, I still order them. I went to the Stonewall pub this month and had them. And as a happily married straight dude, let me tell ya, it was a blast. You just have to not be fragile about your masculinity and not be a jerk and you'll have a great time. I used to work with a dude whose father told him not to use chapstick because it was for FS, and this dude was in his 20s and hadn't lived at home for years but still walked around with chap lips all winter. Having any emotions other than happiness or anger. Liking cats. Performing cunnilingus. I worked as server in a restaurant years back. Dude fucking blew up at me because I put a straw down, fully sealed, with his non-alcoholic drink. Fellas it's gay to check notes eat pussy, double checks notes on disbelief. Wash my ass. Wearing white pants. Speaking with a soft voice. Complimenting calves. Walking with my butt out. What does walking with my butt out mean? Like, walking around in only chaps? Bullshit. Theodore Roosevelt, one of the manliest men out there, said speak softly and carry a big stick. Wash my hands before a meal. Food poisoning is manly apparently. I was told sitting with my legs crossed was effeminate. Like at all. From thigh on thigh, to ankle on knee to ankle over ankle. All gay. I usually sit on my foot, and some people have thought of it as feminine. Skip. I've been told that parting my hair on the left is manly, but parting on the right is gay. Wear a Santa hat. Cry after getting my tonsil surgically removed at 8. I read tonsils as nostrils I was about to ask for a picture. Sitting slash standing with my legs crossed. He'll do whatever the fuck I consider the most comfortable at the time. Uh, damn that's weird. <laughs>